yesterday afternoon at about 3.30 p.m., Costa Mesa police officers and Orange County District Attorney investigators arrested Catholic priest Dennis Lyons at a community center near his home in Leisure World, Seal Beach. Dennis Lyons is charged with four felony counts of lewd acts upon a child under the age of 14, occurring between 1992 and 1995 at St. John the Baptist Catholic Church in Costa Mesa. <clears throat> Lyons was also charged with a sentencing enhancement for substantial sexual conduct with a child, making the defendant eligible for a mandatory prison sentence. At the time of the crime, Lyons was between 57 and 60 years old. If convicted of all charges, he'll be facing up to 14 years in state prison. He's on $100,000 bail at this, at this time. Our community's waited a long time for justice in the case of this defendant. In 2003, the Orange County District Attorney's Office charged Dennis Lyons with multiple counts of lewd acts upon a child involving three young boys. Unfortunately, that case had to be dismissed based on a 2003 United States Supreme Court case called Stogner versus California on the grounds that the statute of limitations had run. In September 2008, a 23-year-old young man came forward to the Costa Mesa police to report what happened to him from 1992 to 1995 when he was seven to nine years old. It was extremely difficult for him to come forward because he was ashamed of what had been done to him and because he feared that nobody would believe him. In this case, Dennis Lyons is accused of masturbating John Doe on two different occasions in the rectory and two different occasions in the sacristy at St. John the Baptist Catholic Church in Costa Mesa. For the last 10 years, I've served as a district attorney in Orange County. During that time, this office has prosecuted a judge, police officers, teachers, religious leaders, coaches, and others who've held positions of power and trust in our community. For the past few years, Dennis Lyons has lived in Leisure World, where many grandchildren and residents visit. I urge anyone who might have been a victim of Dennis Lyons to contact the District Attorney's Office or the Costa Mesa Police Department. They can count on us to treat them with respect and compassion. And the community has our pledge that justice will be served in this case. 